Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and this reading is going to be for Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that will help for you guys. It's going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Check out the link in the description box, Cancer. It's going to take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves towards you? Outcome of the situation, advice, oracle messages, love notes, messages from the person you're connecting with. Okay. And where is this relationship going? You can also check out your 2021 forecast. That will also be linked in the description box for you if you like. So let's see what we got for cancer. What have we got for Cancer. What have we got for Cancer? Okay. Okay, I heard the <laughs> I heard the phrase let me go or let them go. So I don't know who is feeling like that. So are you trying to let something go or you just want to be gone from a certain situation because you're sick and tired of it ace of swords clarity forward movement um the two of cups and the ten of swords okay so i feel like some of you are tired of waiting for this person so maybe that is why you want to let go now um right now your main focus is on things that make you feel good and on clarity. So if a situation lacks clarity, I don't think you're going to be indulging in it. Yes, you're coming from a place of love and whoever you're connecting with also has love for you with the Two of Cups energy that is mutual here. But the thing is that um, you're tired. Okay. You're seeming tired. Almost like you do not want to be putting any more effort into this or any more than you already did. Okay. Let's see. Wow. So you've got the six of swords, the wheel of fortune, and the four of wands. So whatever it is that you're leaving behind, Cancer, okay, you're coming in this energy of Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, which is a really prosperous energy. This is a big change and a prosperous change, okay? I also feel like some of you are starting something new in your life. This could be a new project, a new, you know, moving into a new place or just some sort of a new energy that you just feel like it's important for you to let go of the past and move on to something new. This could also be about purchasing something new, um, changing your jobs, or I don't know, what is it? Or it, it could just be a transition from the old mindset to a new mindset. But I see you transitioning, and I also see you changing things up. All right, it almost looks like you're coming from a place of, Okay, now I'm finally figuring out that this is what I want to do. Okay? And if this person does not want to cooperate with me, I'm gone. Okay? So, I for some of you, I literally see travel. But, like, you literally have to go from one place to another. Or you are planning on doing so. But... It almost looks like something is coming to an end, but that end is not really a sad ending, you know. It's, it's bringing you so much more with the Four of Wands energy. That is a really good energy, okay. That is balance. That is, um, I heard the word twin flame, soulmate. So this person could be your soulmate, but I think you did hold on to the situation for so long. I actually do see marriage down the line for you as well. Let's see. Yeah, you're not giving in, in this situation whatsoever. New love with the Ace of Cups energy. So, 
I think you're you're holding but you're holding back because you're tired. Okay? You're tired of thinking about this, you're tired of putting in more effort into this, you're just tired. You want this person to come to you and tell you the truth in case they want you back. Otherwise, I don't think you're going to be the one who indulges in this because you you've already got you've already got your mind on new love or a new beginning in love. Okay? You've got nothing to do with toxicity. And I feel like there is going to be a new beginning in love for you. Look at that. Ace of Cups, the Fool Energy, Four of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Wands. So you're getting two Aces in this reading, which Aces do represent new beginnings, if you don't know. Um, even the Fool card is about new beginnings. So something about this reading is screaming new beginnings, a change, um, a shift in perspective, all that, okay? I also feel like you really put your ego aside and were really willing to work on things with this person until you gave up, okay? There's a new beginning in love for you. The Hierophant and the Empress energy, which again, oh my goodness, this is a relationship energy. This is um, even, you know, being pregnant or having kids. This is a relationship, you know. So some of you already have kids or this is talking about you actually being in a relationship because this is, look at that. This new beginning in love is taking you towards a commitment with the Hierophant and the Empress Okay, you have the four of ones, the hierophant together here, which both of these are marriage cards. So there is marriage involved here. Some of you could be already married to this person. I don't know how, but it's either that you're going to be getting married or it's, it's about marriage. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. So the universe is really bringing you love, okay? This could be from a new person, okay? But whoever this is coming from, there is love coming your way. You are seeming to let go, but there's still somebody coming your way. I feel like this person is just like around you, okay? Or you will be meeting them. Because the Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Empress, Hierophant, Four of Wands, this is love coming your way with the Two of Cups energy even. You know, this is uniting with somebody. Um, so to me, it looks like whatever has tired you or whatever situation that you went through, it, it did, you know, um, stress you out and tired you. But it's like the universe's way of clearing up the space for something new. And something much better so for some of you you need to hold on to your perspective because i know that you are looking forward to new beginnings seeing the light at the end of the tunnel okay and there is a lot at the end of the tunnel for you do you see that there's so much love even a commitment of course it's not all going to happen within a month but this is a timeless message that you know this is resulting in a commitment and this is a new beginning. Something is thawing fresh with the Ace of Cups. Let's see. <sighs> Cancer. You've got the High Priestess and the Page of Cups. Now, you've got the Page of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups. This is a new beginning. For some of you, I do see involvement of two people here. So there could be a return of a past person who suddenly wants you back. But there is definitely a new energy, something very changed, especially with that Wheel of Fortune being in the center here. This is a change. This is uh, good stuff coming your way. Honestly, there's a lot to look forward to. 
So if you're somebody losing faith and hope in things, no. And I feel like intuitively you know something. So you have to trust your intuition here and let it guide you. There's happiness. Lots of it. So the signs that are here that you could be connecting with, Pisces, Taurus, Libra, forget it. We have a lot of signs, Aries, Gemini, Leo. So signs don't really matter, okay? The message matters. Let's see. Check out the link in the description box, Cancer. It's going to take you to the extended for further clarifications about what's coming up. How's your person thinking and feeling about you? Their next moves towards you? Outcome of the situation? Advice? Oracle messages? Love notes? Messages from the person you're connecting with? Okay. So do check it out for further guidance. What have you got for Cancer? The energy is gaining momentum. Conclusions are within reach and take time to breathe out. A new romantic cycle begins, of course. So there's a new beginning in love for you. And I feel like with the energy is gaining momentum, things are changing for you one day at a time. But there is still a huge change to look forward to. Cancer. Okay. Just take your time. Take your time to do whatever it is that you want to do. Relax yourself. Whatever it is that you want clarity on is coming. Again, with the Ace of Swords and the conclusions are within reach. God, I feel like both of these messages are pretty much the same. And again, a new romantic cycle begins. Look at that. I've been screaming about this all throughout this reading that there's a new beginning in love for you. Right? Let's see. What have we got for cancer? Attraction, finances, and career, and, and it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Stay optimistic about your love life. So, You have to open yourself up for this new love because there's somebody who finds you very attractive. You could be focused on your finances a lot, but in the middle of it all, you are finding love, okay? So that's it. Those were the energies that popped out for cancer. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended for further clarifications about who you're connecting with and where is this relationship going, okay? And... A lot more information about you know what's coming up for you you can also check out your 2021 forecast if you're interested all right take care of yourself guys and bye, -bye.